Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And the, okay, the big news. Okay, the com the comics are having a great time with President Obama, um, as they have for, for years. But even serious people, it's like we're starting to hear people. It's like now you hear from people where it's when you say ass and hole, they know you're talking about Obama. What? Where, when did we get a president like this? Oh, wait a minute. Forget the sanctions. If you really want to get under our president, right? What you do is you insult Obamacare. Or, what, insult his wife's menu choices. Or, what, menu choices? Oh yeah, her restrictions on what you can eat. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemo with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said this morning, they said that the Democrats are planning to run on how great everything has been under this president. You know, uh, like they said that he, he, uh, he, he fixed the economy, fixed unemployment, he stopped the Iranians from building a nuclear weapon. He basically stopped the Syrians from, you know, the bloodbath that's going on in Syria. The, you know, he stopped the problem in Libya. And he's stopping the problem in, you know, God, no, he didn't do any of those things, did he? So the Republicans have nothing to worry about. Oh. And Obama says no U.S. intervention for any reason in the Ukraine unless they order people to eat unhealthy food or belittle Obamacare. I know. I love that one. That was the guy last night. With a Pulitzer Prize winner that worshipped the ground. I mean, he's not one of these people that basically gets a thrill up his leg whenever Obama says anything. Said that he, he he's basically no one trusts him, no one likes him, and this country is worse off now than they ever were under George Bush. He said we really detested George Bush, but what what we got was worse. Mm -hmm. Which I told everybody. They were going to get worse, and they're going to get worse than Obama the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. before. And I figure now it will be into the 220s before this country gets out of the problem. Because what's going to happen, they're going to put an anti-Obama, anti-Democrat put in. Then they're going to put an anti-whoever it is uh, in. And then there will be three presidencies before we're going to get this nation on an even footing now. And ground zero for GOP civil war. Oh, yeah. The, basically... Uh, the GOP has decided that they're they're going to go. I mean, they they want the status quo to remain the way it is. So the the Tea Party basically, uh, which basically provides the the landslide they had in the House and the people they got in the Senate new elected are all Tea Party people. Mm. They want those people gone and replaced with people that are party people. So they're running, they're running regulars against the Tea Party people, figuring the Tea Party can be outspent. Mm. And Massachusetts Attorney General holds lead in governor's race, the poll. Yeah, well, because the, the, ma the guy that was there basically decided he's going to be a United States Senator now, so, mm. yeah, and that's so, but uh, Deval Patrick, so they're going to turn it over to a woman who believes in Obamacare, gay rights, gun control, and all that stuff. And college cancels diversity happy hour after learning event coordinators intended to exclude white people. I know. It was what? a diversity happy hour <laughs> and they want to in which white no people. one white was welcome. The college got hit by that. I mean, uh, but they, that's typical in colleges now. I mean, for instance, you can uh, black fraternities, Latino fraternities, gay things. They won't let uh, they won't let people of not their race, their persuasion, come to their open events, which by rules on college campus have to be open to everybody if you're over the drinking age. And Pelosi says health law a winner for Democrats. No, no, no one understands. I mean, it's a they are running from that thing. Every single candidate that's up for re-election in the Senate, every candidate but Pelosi is running a. You know what the what the the Debbie Wasserman Schultz says? Tell everybody the truth. Republicans are responsible for all the problems because they've refused to do anything to help the rollout, and the rollout has been choppy because of the Republicans. And everybody knows it's because the Democrats have... Here, here it is. The one thing... Okay, the, the people on the left all agree, they're even the press, that if the Republicans have had nothing to do with it, you cannot blame them for not doing anything because they didn't have anything to do with it. This is all your fault. You were told it was going to happen. You didn't listen to anybody. And you figured, well, they're going to like what they got so much that they're going to cheer us. No, mm -hmm. Obama basically... He's going to go down as the, I mean, they're still going to put his head on Mount Rushmore because two of the lesser presidents are going to be removed. 
And Pelosi right. says health law a winner for Democrats. Yeah, she, she liked that. So she I know. Well, because Wendy Davis is going to turn the Texas purple. I know. This is a woman that lied about how she got her college education. She basically, I work, I did, I worked all the time. Well, no, she married a rich guy who paid all her bills. And as soon as she graduated from college and got a job as a lawyer, she dumped the rich husband and dumped her son off on him. What? Yeah. Well, what's this thing about turning it purple? Well, I mean, she's going to turn a red state blue because she's going to be the next governor of the state. Well, uh, every time they bring up the fact she lied to everybody about everything uh, and the uh, fact she basically somebody, a man paid all her, well, she doesn't believe in men doing anything. She's a woman's rights person that basically she was hot and sexy and she got everything she wanted because she married an old guy that didn't know any better, and then as soon as she got out of college, she dumped him and dumped her kid on him. Mm -hmm. You know, she just left, you know, well, well, he could provide better for my son than I could. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and she still left him. Yeah. Yeah. U.S. lawmakers laugh off Putin's sanctions. But these guys are all idiots. I mean, pure and simple, he insulted them all and, and insulted the country, so they think it's a joke. No. He thought what Obama did was a joke, and this was his idea. The, his, uh, I like the same guy. He said, oh, he said, we have a president of the United States that's going ha, ha, ha over on the Ellen Show, or ha, ha, ha over on Funny or Die, while Putin is basically dressed in KGB war attire, mm -hmm. addressing the troops getting ready to invade all of Eastern Europe. Uh, I think he's just about taken over Eastern Europe. Yeah. He's, uh, they're, it's yeah like, basically, the troops are now all over the borders of the countries that used to be uh, used to be Soviet Republic. He's going to take them all because he knows right now that um, that our president has already made a statement. It doesn't. And then they they basically put out a poll this morning. Fifty-three percent of the people all agree with the president's policies, and we must not get involved in those affairs under any circumstances. And uh, even one of the Democrats, what's it, one of the Democrats, real liberal Democrats, said, said that's the biggest bunch of BS that he ever heard in his life. He said the majority of the people in this country remember World War II. Mm -hmm. They remember how World War II started. He said what they did is they went to a bunch of teenagers, are the are those millennials they're talking uh, that they're talking about, did the poll with them. He said they have refused to let me see who the poll was done with. Ah. So you know it's a fraud. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> reinventing education. Bill Gates takes a controversial stance for school reform. Oh yeah, he's got basically what you have to do is to hire more teachers, build more schools, and get the union heavier involved in the pro in the school at uh, schooling. He wants the teachers to run the education system, not the public. He wants to take it out of the public's hand, put it in the hands of the educators who best know, and give them hundreds of billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. That, 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 that's not going to go. That's a dead issue. And Amazon faces a surprisingly strong backlash against prime price hikes. Well, yeah, $20 is $20. I mean, how many people actually use Amazon Prime? I have no idea. Because I, I wouldn't use it. Because why would you want to We go? just did the trial period because yeah. we got it faster and it was just a trial. Yeah, and then we dumped it. Um, new heart guidelines may put 12.8 million more Americans on statins. Oh yeah, Obama's new thing basically, okay, he has a deal with the company that Obamacare is being heavily supported by a company that produces the drugs for heart problems. So conveniently, they they have a new definition of what heart disease is, and uh, they're going to get 12, over 12 million new customers for the company that supports Obamacare and the Democratic Party. And New Jersey teen in education cost suit returns home, lawyer. Yeah, well, that's, you know, everything, everything screwed up in this country, so. Yeah, and California malls, how to regulate driverless cars. There, There's already regulation, you can't, sure you can't, uh, here's the thing, uh, we set it the deal at, at, at SEMA, and we're talking about driverless cars, and the guy said, well, it's not actually legal to have a driverless car. You must have a person in the car to take control of the car at any moment. Because you can't get insured and the federal government will not allow you to use any of their roads with a driverless vehicle. So then the question is, how is it driverless? It's not driverless. There's a person ready at every single moment. Well, we've seen a driver's car. There's somebody sitting there 
behind the wheel waiting to take control. It's like a remote control car. It's, just, yeah. it's not even remote control. The guy is, it is it's supposed to be remote control, but he has to be ready to, to grab take it the over wheel. at any time. Yeah. Animati Bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Mm, actually, if you ever listen to what people say, you might actually learn something. <laughs>